To make this 32 function button box, we will require various toggle switches, encoders, buttons, a Pro Micro, a USB cable, and an enclosure to house the electrical components. Toggle switches come in a variety of types, always on or always off, a momentary push on with a spring return to off, a three-way momentary toggle has three positions and used to control two functions. Center is off, then either side is on. These basic momentary push buttons are always off, normally open and momentary push on. This encoder has five pins on the bottom. The two pins are normally open and used to wire the momentary push on. The three group pins are used for sending a signal to determine the location and direction of the encoder as it turns left or right. Take some measurements of the box and design a layout for the buttons and switches. This can be designed on paper by placing the buttons on the box or designed in Photoshop. Once happy with the design and layout, place the nuts of the switches and mark the positions. With a pair of calipers, measure the switches and determine the hole size to be drilled. Once the holes are drilled to the correct size, wrap the front panel with a carbon vinyl. Fit the buttons and switches to the front panel and tighten down the nuts. Next, fit the knobs to the encoders and tighten the small screw to hold these in position. To wire the buttons to the Arduino board, we will create a 5x5 matrix grid. The matrix will be split up into two main groups. The first group will contain pin A3, A2, A1, A0 and 15. The second group will contain pins 14, 16, 10, 9 and 8. Each button on the matrix will use one pin on the Pro Micro board from each of the groups. For example, the first button will use pin A3 and 14. The second button is connected to pin A3 and pin 16. The third button would then be connected to pins A3 and 10. This method will continue along the line. All the buttons will use one pin on the Pro Micro board from each group, creating the 5x5 matrix grid. As the encoders also have a push button function, we will use the last row on the matrix grid and allocate these to the encoders. The encoders momentary push function will be wired to pins 15 and 14 for the first encoder, 15 and 16 for the second encoder, 15 and 10 for the third encoder, and 15 and nine for the fourth encoder. Cut lengths of wire and solder to one of the terminals for the first five switches. Then solder this wire to pin A3 on the board. Continue this process and complete the first group that will include the A3, A2, A1, A0 and 15 pins. Following the path from pin A3, wired to the 5 buttons. Pin A2, wired to the 2 toggles and 1 button. Pin A1 to the next 2 toggles and button. Three-way toggles will use two buttons each from the matrix. This with one more button will make the total of five for pin A1 and the same for pin A2. This is the path of pin A0 to each of the five buttons. And finally, pin 15 wired to one side of the push button function of the four encoders to complete the group. Following the same method used for the first group, begin work on soldering the buttons for the second group which includes pins 14, 16, 10, 9 and 8 to complete the matrix grid. To wire the rotational function of the encoders, each encoder will firstly need the center pin wired to the ground on the Pro Micro board. Solder one wire to the center pin on each encoder, then back into the ground pin on the board.
pins either side of the center pin are used for sending the signal. These need to be wired to TX and RX for the first encoder, the second encoder to pins 2 and pins 3, the third encoder to pins 4 and 5, and the fourth encoder to pins 6 and 7. Solder these wires onto the encoders and then onto the board. To minimize the damage on the USB cable, place the cable through a rubber grommet and then feed the cable through the hole on the back of the box. Then push the rubber grommet into place. Tie a small knot in the USB cable to prevent it accidentally being pulled out from the box. Plug the USB cable into the Pro Micro board and locate a position to mount it. Use some hot glue or double sided tape to hold it in place. Next, close the box and screw down the front plate. Plug in the USB cable to a PC and upload and install the button box sketch to the board. Once the sketch is loaded, it will stay stored even when the box is disconnected from the USB. Next, check the function of the box and then map the buttons in-game to your preference. 